you know that the most popular sample preparation techniques are liquid liquid extraction or LLE, solid phase extraction, in short SPE, solid phase micro extraction or SPME. And obviously there are many other extraction techniques out there. In the beginning of my PhD studies, I personally had a difficult time in understanding the fundamental difference between extraction and micro extraction. Therefore, the objective of this video is to briefly define and explain the difference between extraction and micro extraction. Let's begin with extraction. By definition, sample extraction is a technique of analytical sample preparation. To perform any extraction technique, we must have two phases. Obviously, one is the sample itself and the other one is the extraction phase or extractant. Both sample and extractant can be different physical states, for example, liquid, solid or semi-solids. Let me walk you through uh, the features of uh, sample extraction by giving these three examples. In the first example, say you have a sample with too many different chemical species but you want to analyze one of the chemicals or very few of them. A real life example would be analysis of sugar in blood sample or benzene in car exhaust. If you place a suitable extractant into the sample, you can isolate preferentially the analyte of interest. In the second example, say you have a sample with some species that binds with your analyte of interest. Here, the extractant will help you to extract enough analyte so that you can analyze them with your detector. In the last example, if you have a sample with very, very low concentration, you might want to concentrate them in a suitable extractant. Therefore, the primary goals of sample extraction are isolation of the analyte of interest, cleanup of the sample, and pre-concentrate of the analyte of interest. Once sample extraction is done, you can either dissolve the analyte of interest into a suitable solvent system or directly inject them into a detector. I will discuss the coupling between extractant and detector in my future videos. Here we will focus on the sample preparation steps. Uh, therefore, we have discussed here the definition of uh, the extraction and also the basic three specific features of sample extraction. Now let's talk about micro extraction. Micro extraction carries all the three features of extraction that I have discussed in my previous slide. In addition, micro extraction technique has two specific criteria. Number one is that the extractant volume is very low compared to the sample volume. Uh, in this curtain, I just showed how uh, micro extraction device is different from the extraction device. The second feature is that the extracted amount is negligible compared to the quantity of the analyte in the sample. This feature is also called non-exhaustive sampling. This is the most important feature in micro extraction, which leads to some unique applications, for example, on site or in vivo quantifications, and also many different types of uh, very useful calibration methods. As you see in the cartoon, that micro extraction um, might be very small uh, compared to the sample volume, also, might extract a very small quantity of analyte from the total sample. Therefore, this is a different principle uh, of microextraction, which uh, tells about the non-exhaustive nature of the microextraction. So, therefore, uh, there are two unique areas I will discuss in future videos. One is microextraction in terms of device, and the microextraction in terms of a principle. So, if you are interested, you can follow this link to get more information about microextraction. Thank you.